Roman Chacalito Gonzalez versus Julio Cesar Martinez. A great super flyweight boxing fight happening this coming weekend. Uh, welcome to Boxing MMA Picks. Of course, he goes by Zahn and I go by Harris. We are giving you a fight breakdowns specifically from that betting perspective. I uh, really want to take a look at this fight in depth and see where uh, some potential value can be had. Of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. And uh, most importantly, we want to hear from you in the comments. How do you think this fight is going to go? What decision are you uh, leaning in in terms of the betting perspective? And of course, before that, we got to break this fight down. Um, so I'm going to break it down first. I'm looking at, of course, really tough fight here. Chocolito versus uh, Julio Cesar Martinez. For Roman Gonzalez, I mean, this is a guy that's only lost to two fighters. Um, you see his record there. He's a legend in the sport. 50 wins, three losses. You know, questionable losses at that. He had that split decision loss, of course, to, uh, to Juan Francisco uh, Estrada in his last fight. Um, that's a fighter that he's beaten before. Uh, and he had a majority decision loss, of course, to Sor uh, Rungvisai, although he did get knocked out in the rematch. So, you know, sort of a true loss there. To that opponent but you know still a legend in the sport only two losses this is somebody that you know people have said is he done but has he ever been done if he only has lost to two people yes he's 34 years old but he's definitely still performing at a high level um we know the mo we know the script of roman gonzalez he's a volume puncher uh his work rate is, is sort of what he's known for likes to stay in there likes to exchange with his opponent he'll put his head down he'll go punch for punch but he has really good multiple punch combinations inside, good body work. Um, you know, he can really accumulate the punches on his opponent. His pressure is especially good, especially once he gains momentum. He'll cut the ring off really well. Um, you know, again, he'll maintain that activity. If you try to fight off of the back foot against him, he will continue that activity as he presses forward and as he closes the distance. Um, so that's something that, that definitely works in his favor when he does perform well. Um, but he can be outworked, right? I mean, if you're giving him constant activity at range, that's something where I've seen, um, you know, he has a bit of a hard time with specifically the jab, specifically throwing sharp, straight combinations, or even just sharp combinations in general. That makes him have a bit of a hard time making his way inside. Um, and, and Roman Gonzalez is taking on an opponent that's very capable of doing that, Julio Cesar Martinez. Mexican fighter, Mexican style. This is a fighter who hasn't lost since 2015. Uh, we see there he has 18 wins, only one loss. Very sturdy, um, good balance on the feet. He fights tall. I mean, if we can make that comment in the flyweight division, he fights pretty tall. He has good pressure, very hard puncher. Um, the punches sting, they're clean. They do damage. They have good timing to go along with it. Decent jab, um, good counter straight. But I think my favorite punch from him is that lead left look, uh, lead left hook, I should say, uh, that he has and that he uses often. It's a really effective punch for him. Oftentimes it's a combination starter. Oftentimes it's a combination ender. Uh, and again, like I said, it has a real uh, has a lot of sting on it. He's explosive. He'll he'll swing big at times. Of course, we know that technically that means he can miss big at times, and those are going to be some opportunities for Chocolatito to uh, to take advantage there. He can be hittable. Um, you know, it does require an accurate puncher who is going to go for it, um, who, who, who's going to try to sting him with combinations. And again, Chocolatito is, is very capable of that. In terms of kind of predicting this fight or, or, or thinking how this fight can go, uh, I mean, age might play a factor in this fight. Like I said, Chocolatito, 34 years old, still performing at a high level, though. But he is going up against Julio Cesar Martinez, who is 27 years old, and you have to imagine in or close to his athletic prime. Um, what's really important, especially with these lower weight divisions, um, you know, every single pound matters. Uh, Roman Gonzalez is somebody who has fought, you know, anywhere from the kind of 107 to 115 pound range. Julio Cesar Martinez, he's fought more in the kind of 110 pounds, 120 pound range. Uh, especially as the bigger puncher, what that tells me is that Julio Cesar Martinez will be the stronger fighter in there. And I think that will be very important. Um, very tough fight to pick. You know, on one hand, of course, you like Chocolatito's inside fighting. You like his constant pace. You like his high activity. You like his combinations. 
And you have to think he's, he's going to score a lot of points. Again, legend in the sport, still performing at a high level. The key for Chocolatito will be not to allow Martinez to put him on the back foot. Um, you know, not to allow Martinez to make him start fighting going backwards. Otherwise, Martinez might steamroll him if that happens. On the other hand, Martinez is a killer, right? His punches hurt his opponents. His punches change the course of the fight, and they can come from any position that he's in. Also, what's really interesting here is that, you know, being a, a super flyweight fight, 115 pounds, I would say that's, I mean, it goes without saying that's the only division that Roman Gonzalez has lost in. That's the only division where he has looked beatable. Um, and it could just be due to sheer size, right? As much as I want to go with Chocolatito, I'm going back and forth on this fight. In some ways, I'm kind of making a decision right now as I speak about it. Um, I think back to that sore Rung Vasai fight. Um, not the first one, of course, where uh, Rung Vasai got the majority decision. But I think about that second fight where Rung Vasai um, knocked Roman Gonzalez out in the fourth round. Um, he had good activity in that fight. He had good hooking punches specifically. He was putting enough behind his punches to, to, to hurt Chocolatito. Again, it was a 115-pound fight, and he was proving to be the stronger fighter in there. I think Julio Cesar Martinez is a more consistent version of what we saw in the performance with Rung Vasai. And frankly, I think he's a more dangerous version of what we saw from Rung Vasai when he was able to knock Chocolatito out. Um, and again, he will be coming forward more often. Like I said, this is, this is a very tough fight. Um, I mean, I think the odds kind of display that. Uh, I want to go with Chocolatito, but I, I feel like I've seen this situation before um, where you want to go with the veteran, you want to go with the legend in the sport, uh, you want to go with probably the better volume puncher, but Julio Cesar Martinez, his, his punches sting. And I think his punches can change the course of the fight because Gonzalez is hittable. Um, so I actually want to go with the underdog here. I want to go with the underdog. Uh, I think this is my first underdog pick from a boxing perspective. Uh, Julio Cesar Martinez, I think he has the tools to get it done. I think he's in his athletic prime. And uh, again, I think his power, his forward pressure are going to be two uh, key things for this fight. That work in his favor. So I'm going with the underdog, Julio Cesar Martinez. Yeah, this is a really good fight. First thing I will state, um, Chocolatito, Roman Gonzalez, uh, uh, prime Roman Gonzalez is, in, in my opinion, a uh, top 10 pound for pound fighter on my list all time. I have high respect for this guy. Uh, he does what you want him to do in there. He, he, he can box. Um, he, again, he's a, he's a guy that lands, lands punches volume. He throws like five, six com punch combos. Um, so he's going to be able to win most of these rounds if he can avoid the power and stay on his feet. Um, just his style alone is going to win a lot of fights. Now, the problem with this style in this fight is Julio uh, Cesar Martinez. He's a bruiser. This guy, Roman Gonzalez, again, like you mentioned, he likes to give one to take one. This is not the guy you want to do that with. And um, I believe Roman Gonzalez is the far superior boxer, the far more skilled uh, technician in the ring here. Um, he sh I, I wouldn't be surprised if he schools this guy for 12 rounds. Um, but Roman Gonzalez fights a bit dangerous. Uh, he, he likes to fight in close, have his guard up. But again, he gets hit a lot. And um, I think that that's a spot where the, where the young guy the young bull here can uh, cause some problems here because he does have he does have a, a big power advantage and he just has a, a fearlessness uh, approach to how he fights. Uh, there's something about this guy. It's just it's like he he's not trying to see the judges. He's he's trying to finish you um, in every exchange and he he's confident in his ability to do so. So I wouldn't be surprised if he marches Gonzalez down. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the youth shows out in this fight. I think this is hard, man. I think this is as 50-50 as it gets because you got one guy who's clearly the better boxer in Chocolate Teal. Uh, one guy who has the experience, um, clearly the better boxer. But when you look at Julio Cesar Martinez, this guy can knock you out. This guy just needs a good one minute in the fight that could change the entirety of this fight. 
Uh, so I'm with you here. I'm gonna go with the underdog. I've been uh, I've been studying this fight, going back and forth on it. I just think that Roman Gonzalez, he likes to stay in the pocket. He likes to stay close with his fighters, have his hands up. Um, he definitely outlands his opponents. And in all of his fights, his opponents land a lot of punches. Yes, Roman lands more, but I don't think Julio needs to land as much as those guys to get a knockout or to hurt Chaco Tito. So I'm going to go Martinez. I'm going to go for an underdog pick here, but I think this is really close because obviously – uh, Roman Gonzalez is the better boxer. He can clearly win 12 rounds here, or best out of 12 rounds in this fight. But I just think there's something about this Julio guy. And I think that if the fight is, is somewhat close, both of these guys are signed to matchroom boxing. That's our boy, right? Eddie Hearn? Yep. All right. So they're both signed to matchroom boxing. So we know that they could, I'm not saying they will, but they could have an impact as far as the judging goes. And if if you're to, if you own matchroom boxing, um, you wanna you wanna promote a guy like Julio Cesar Martinez. If you had to choose between these guys, as good as I know Roman Gonzalez, I mentioned he's pound for pound, but as we know, he's getting old. His times his times passing. He's he's 34. Um, he's not gonna be as marketable as as this young 27 year old knockout artist goes in there. Uh, let's look at his knock. Let's look at his his wins. Right, he's knocking people out. And the only fight he hasn't knocked the guy out was Jay Harris um, in his last 10 or 12 fights, right? So, and, and he's knocking them out early. So I like him here because even if this fight's close or even if it's a, a situation where Roman Gonzalez has like seven rounds to five rounds, Chocolatito won seven rounds to five, uh, just like his fight versus, um, just like his previous fight, I thought Roman Gonzalez won that seven to five versus uh, Juan Estrada. I think this is a fight where Julio Martinez will get the decision. I think he'll get the benefit of the doubt from the judges. Um, I just think he's more marketable for matchroom. He's more, um, he has a higher ceiling at this point as far as promotional, um, who they want to push. I think he's the guy that they would rather push at this point in their career. Obviously, 10 years from now, Julio's not fighting, but 10 years from now, Chocolate Tito, you want to push that guy, but he's getting old. So I'm going to go with uh, Julio Susan Martinez. I think you can knock him out. And again, if he keeps us close, as far as the judging goes, uh, he could get the benefit of the doubt because I'm sure Matru wants to uh, push this guy. That makes for some interesting um, decisions to be made in terms of betting. Um, now, the odds are close enough. The odds are good enough where I'm sure either one of us would be looking at just a straight up bet um, in, in either direction. But I think uh, the, the fight outcome is a really interesting one here. Um, because two of them stand out to me and they're actually providing the better odds than I thought they would. I think if Roman Gonzalez wins, to your point, he might just out, out, volume, out volume him, out punch him, out pace him. Um, and I think that would be a decision. Um, we, and we look at that at plus 240 compared to the KO looking at plus 210. I actually think the decision is more likely for Roman Gonzalez. On the flip side, um, not to say Martinez cannot win a decision because he definitely can, but I think it is very possible that Martinez uh, hurts him uh, and, and, and sort of gets knockdowns, if not a knockout, um, the way that, the way that um, what's his name, uh, Rungvasai was able to against uh, Chocolatito. So I'm actually very curious to think about doing Martinez via KO. Um, or I might just take a look at, you know, I want to see if there's something just to fight to go the distance. I'm not too sure yet, but I mean, the decision itself is kind of all over the place. <clears throat> I think I'm not too confident in any one decision over the other. Um, so I think I'm keeping myself limited to potentially just betting on the win for Julio Cesar Martinez. But in terms of any outcome or, or round betting or decision or anything like that, um, what are you taking a look at? Uh, Julio Cesar Martinez. I'm going to go with him to, I think he's, I think you can get a knockout on this spot here. Yeah. I'm going to go with him to get a, get, get a finish in this spot. All right. So some really good value there. Plus Plus three fifty. Of course, we know that a hundred dollars would return about 450 in that case, $250 would return over a thousand dollars. So there really could be some good value there. 
Um, but again, even if you're just betting Martinez to win the fight, you're getting more than a double up there. $100 would return $220. Uh, and of course, uh, $250 would return uh, about $500, give or take, $550, something like that. Um, so, you know, definitely some good value to be had. Um, we are going to sign off on that note. Definitely a fight that we are looking forward to. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. And again, most importantly, we want to hear from you uh, in the comments. Um, the number two flyweight, super flyweight in the world in Gonzalez. The number three fly, super flyweight in the world in Julio Cesar Martinez. Let us know how you feel about this fight. Do you think the young gun has the shot of doing it? Or do you think the legend... Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, pull the decision out. Do you think maybe Chocolatito has a chance at knocking Julio Cesar Martinez out? We want to hear from you. want to have some good conversation in the comments. So let's definitely get that going. Um, but again, officially signing off, this has been the boxing prediction for Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez versus Julio Cesar Martinez. We are boxing MMA picks. He goes by Zahn. I go by Harris. And in our usual fashion, let's get this money. Let's do it.